Hi, it's Pastor Smith back with interviews with our teachers. I guess we could call Meet the Teachers. I should have come up with a title for this before we started, <laughs> but I never have. But today we got Mrs. Topo with us. Now, Mrs. Topo was supposed to do this three weeks ago. And then we had some COVID stuff. And then we had a short week. And Thanksgiving. Yep. Now here we are, here we finally are. getting it, and she's glad she had time to prepare. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to just ask a series of questions like I always do, and we get to interact and learn a little bit about Mrs. Topol. So uh, first of all, Mrs. Topol, tell us a little bit about your family and yourself. Um, I'm originally from a small town in southern Ontario. Elmira is the name of my town, and it's close to the city Kitchener, Waterloo. Um, I'm married to my husband, Tim, and we will be married 40 years, this in 2021. Tim is a chemistry physics teacher at Lutheran High School Northwest, and we have two boys. Our oldest is Matthew, and he is also a Lutheran school teacher, and he is married to a lovely lady named Samantha, and they both teach at St. Matthew in Wald Lake. And I have a son, David, and David is married to a lovely name, uh, girl named Katie, and they have a house in Mount Clemens. And a new little boy, he is two, his name is Abel. Well, she kind of skimped in the Canada stuff here. <laughs> she has this horrible candy she brings to try to get us all to eat. And she swears <laughs> it's a treat, but it really isn't. It tastes like tar that she gives us. So that is from my mom and dad. My parents are both immigrants of the Netherlands and they immigrated to Canada. Uh, my dad immigrated in 1950 and my mom immigrated in 1951. And we were given these Dutch treats. <laughs> They're not treats. <laughs> For Christmas. That was up. I mean, we couldn't wait to get our hands on these. <laughs> Uh, I, like, I enjoy teasing Wendy about those because <laughs> I do not find them enjoyable. Um, so I got a, I just a question. What, what made you become a Lutheran school teacher? I never thought about being a Lutheran school teacher. I originally, um, in seventh grade, my pastor, Pastor Paul Reisdorf, um, took the senior youth group to visit Concordia College in Ann Arbor. It was the first time we had heard of a Lutheran school. We don't didn't grow up with them, didn't know they existed, and there was room for one more person in the car. So my older sister was able to go, so my parents allowed me to cross the border, and I went to visit Concordia. And I came home, and I informed my parents in seventh grade that that is where I was going to go to school. But I originally enrolled in the Deaconess program. Okay. And then... I remember I wrote a letter to my parents and I was like, there are Lutheran schools all over the place. <laughs> There's one up the street. We had never imagined that there was such a thing. I've always loved children. It was a natural change for me mm -hmm. once I knew that, that they were, existed. That they existed. Yeah. Uh, and what a huge blessing they are, aren't they? Oh my yeah. goodness. And I can see the Lord's hand in all of it mm -hmm. to get me to this path. Mm -hmm. What are some of your big joys of being a teacher? Now you get kindergarten, so you get a lot of laughs. I get a lot of laughs, <laughs> a lot, and there's never a boring day, never a boring day. Uh -huh. What I enjoy the most is the excitement of the students. They mm -hmm. bring so much excitement into the classroom. That is what I enjoy the most. That, that is fun to watch them. Yes. So I, I know. Because I, I visit often, and I get topal treats, by the way, uh, not the chocolate things. Um, but uh, it's kind of fun because the kids always get excited to see me, but they have to be trained that I can get a topal treat without her permission. Yes. So, uh, there, there's excitement. Uh, I, I know this is going to sound like a little funny question to you, and I know you've thought about it because we've talked about it, and that is kindergarten sometimes is kind of overlooked in education. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, everybody wants a kindergarten program. Why is kindergarten so important in the education, in the whole setup? It's like a foundation. Mm -hmm. When you build a house, you need a strong foundation. If you wear shoes that aren't good for you, you feel it. Your whole body mm -hmm. feels it. It allows those students to build that foundation, understanding how school works, so when they are in first grade, it's a much smoother transition for them. They're ready to hit the road. They're ready for reading. They're ready for all of those skills because they had that foundation in kindergarten. 
Yeah, you know, because sometimes we forget that. It just seems some parents treat it as a playtime, but there's more than that, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of learning that goes on, and, and I like to stick my head in and see that because <laughs> it's often and very enjoyable for all of us. Uh, I've known you for now for 17 years, Mrs. Topol, and I know you are a learner. How do you keep yourself not only fresh for the classroom, because that's important, mm -hmm. but even as important is how do you just kind of keep learning in life? A lot of reading, a lot of research, um, attending workshops, finding out what's new. Doesn't mean I'm always going to jump onto the new thing. Mm -hmm. It needs to make sense to me. It needs to have purpose. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of reading and a lot of research spent spending okay. time. Okay. How do you how do you grow personally, as professionally, or have you just given up? Yeah. <laughs> Say this is as good as it gets. <laughs> personally, my time that I find to relax is I love to color. Oh, do I love to color. And they need to be nice new sharp grants. <laughs> uh, but coloring relaxes me. Needlepoint, crocheting, all of those things relax me. Reading is by far my favorite activity. I don't know if you know this, but Concordia Publishing House has a coloring uh, catechism. Ooh. So you may have to think about there that. There we go. I have one last question for you. And if somebody would come to you and say, I'm thinking about being a teacher. What would you say to them? It will bring you, at the same time, the most joy you've experienced in your life and the most frustration you've experienced in your life. Mm -hmm. You have to go into it knowing you're going to work hard. It is hard work. It's not easy. But what you get back far outweighs how much time you've put into it. Yeah, I think that's true of ministry, period. I, I really, you know, I've reflected on this. I've been, I'm around you teachers all the time, so I know how hard you all work. Um, you know, I've been around the high schools a lot. I, uh, I was talking with Mr. Bringle today, and I said, well, I'm a pastor, but my, my odd vocations in life are theology, which is what I do anyway, and education. Yeah. And people don't understand the time that goes into any ministry uh, but also the simultaneous joy and frustration. That's, yeah. that's a, and, and that's okay. It uh, is. is. And that's a good thing because that's a, kind of symptomatic of life. And so. And it's how we grow. It's how we yeah. figure out, you know what? Yeah. You know, I, and now I'm going to get a little deep on this for a second, okay? And it will be my fault that the video goes long this time, okay? <laughs> uh, but, you know, we as Lutherans talk about, um, you know, we grow in Christ as we go through trials. Yes. And our trials tend to come in our, our callings in life, as husband, as wife, as, as parent, as teacher, as pastor. And, you know, that's the way it works. But, but in the end, what a joy. We get yes. to deal with God's children, and we get to deal with God's word. Yes. So, anyway, that was the end of my interview. <laughs> we thank Mrs. Topol for being with us. We have a great joy in having her on staff here and faculty here. And uh, as many of you know how blessed we are to have her. So thank you for watching today. Thank you very much.